uh, the North Cal player, T A E K U A. Um, and then second match he lost to, I believe it was, was it? It wasn't Dual. No, was it Dual Kevin? I think it was Dual Kevin uh, from the Midwest. Uh, so that was Paulino. Um, who's next? Uh, Earl. Earl played really fucking good. Earl, hey, no, really good for Earl. I mean, Earl played really fucking good, and then I helped him clutch out a win, cause this dude did not like me yelling for Earl, and I got in his head. Um, yeah, like I was, yeah, I was, yeah, give him that boost, cause he actually he got fucked up, and it actually should have been three one for for one of his sets, and. He thought he called Ouroboros safely, and the dude just jumped up and foot dive and like foot dove him, and killed his Strider. He was level three Strider, and literally just yeah, exactly. And it, 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 it that made it two two, and literally I was like, no, fuck that, like, and I started yelling. I was like, fuck that, Earl, let's go. And I was just I like, ooh, let's go, because the dude, it was it was two one him. It, it, my bad, it, it, it was two one him. My bad, my bad, guys, because that made it two two one the other guy, because then Earl won two two. And then the guy tried to switch to zero for his team, like a zero point of zero, doom, something else. And the guy, his opening move was a green buster. Just a straight up green buster. Now, for those who don't know, there's three levels to zero's buster. There's a blue one, there's a green one, and there's an orange one. You always want the orange one, never the green one. And this guy shot off the green one and freaked out and I was like Earl please body this motherfucker this zero sucks and he did cause that zero sucked nuts and I was like if you lose to this after playing my zero for I don't know how long god damn it Earl like god damn it Earl I would've been so mad dude but he did and he clutched it out so shout out to Earl he played really well I think he went 2-2 in his pool um I forgot who he lost to um, guy, I just I just know he did really well. Like I was actually I was actually pretty proud of him. It was it was really good to watch him. He clutched out a lot of stuff. Um, so who's that? So I did Paulino, Peter, Bruce, uh, Earl, Juani went zero and two, I believe. He um, here's a little story. There's a Midwest guy plays team Fi uh, team apology man. And uh, is a total asshole. Basically disrespected Kwani. He he got his level three and he was gonna win, and he pulled his own stick out. You know what I mean? Like 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 he knew he was gonna win and he was like, yeah, cool, awesome, I won. I'm getting the fuck out of here and pull my win. That's fucked up, right? I know. Yeah, I mean I'd be mad too. So like, fuck that guy. But Kwani, I believe, went 0 and 2 as well. I forgot who he lost to. Uh, Tang, I, w I, I believe went Owen too. Sorry, Tang, I know, but he knows too. Um, it happens. Shout out, shout out to Tang. Shout out to Virgil Wars. That's a little story I could detour to, but I, uh, I, I played him for best Virgil, and I won seven five. <laughs> Train training mode five bars level three X Factor. You just play Virgil. I am a god. I am a god. Anyways, um, who is that? Okay, who else? Uh, I know I'm missing people. Adrian. Adrian was on a fucking rampage. Oh, here's another story. Okay. This is fucked up, and I, and I wish I would have noticed this. Okay, Adrian was on a rampage. A rampage. So, first round, he had to play Filipino champ. He got 3 0 Okay? That sucks. Sucks. F champ gave him... A great compliment though he after after he lost like we were like hey good shit you played this really well because he did he played it very very well he, he kept up with champ he never let champ just do what he wanted and champ came over and admitted to that champ came over and was like hey dude I just want to let you know that you're really good like I I actually couldn't do my normal autopilot stuff I had to like start like he was like, I actually had to start thinking. Like, I had to actually start playing in neutral because you started playing very, very strong. And I just wanted you to know that you have a very strong neutral and you were really good. And he was just like, wow, thank you. Like, that's, it was really sick, like, for, for him to say that, you know? And so, like I said, Adrian 
lost first round, but then his next three matches, I think, two or three matches, I forgot how many it was, three zeros, and each of the, the, the last game were perfects. This man was fucking on a rampage, just going off, dude. And he gets to footwork, okay? Now, here's where we have problems, guys. So, footwork has his, has his converter. He plays on a PS3 pad. And he's, he's trying to mess with it. And his down, his D-pad, the down on the D-pad is kind of messed up. And he's trying to figure out. He's like, what the fuck's wrong with it? So, he's like, here, let me get your pad. So, he borrows his friend's pad. And I guess he, his friend uses a different converter. Now, here's where things get fucking crazy. I see the converter, okay, and I've been accused of using a Cronus. Shout out to you, Genesis, you faggot. Whoa. Um, I don't, use, I don't, I don't use a Cronus, okay. I'll show you my fucking converter. It's not a Cronus, bought off Amazon. It's not even brand. Anyways, um, I see it's a little USB port, right? It's a little USB thing. And it has a C. Like, I can see it. It's like that. Like, I'm going to show you how I see it. It was like this. I don't know if I'm pointing that right at the camera. Like, you know? And and I see that. And I'm like, is that a Cronus? Like, I'm, I'm literally just asking myself. I'm, just, I'm not sure. But I'm like, it's one of those that I, I, I started to think about it. And I was like, if he's gotten this far, he had it has to be okay, right? Like, it, you know? And then also, I started thinking about it. I was like, and then plus, I know full schedule's here. And he's here with his stick with all those fucking buttons. And I know that's Evo banned, so I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And then, but it was also banned for final round as well, because like he actually had to, like I guess before final round show his stick that none of the buttons were actually hard connected, like before the tournament. And so it was one of those things. I was like, well, if he's playing, then this must be okay, right? Like it, it has to be. So he plugs it in, and boom, we start, we start the match, right? Adrian literally drops it, it ends up being i think three one or three zero footwork up until this point guys i'm not even kidding up until this point adrian hadn't dropped one infinite hadn't dropped one fucking fatal claw loop hadn't dropped shit adrian was so on point dude and he literally dropped eight different things he dropped sword loops crouching h the same thing three times. I kid you not, dude. Like, and I know it, it couldn't have been Adrian, dude. Like, there's no way. They're like, I like I'm uh, not trying to make excuses, like nothing, dude. And I was like, it has to be a cro it has to be that converter. That converter is known to lag. It's known to fuck shit up. Like that's why it's banned. And he loses, and he's out. And that was for top thirty-two. Oh wow, really? Yeah, losers yeah. finals. Yeah. So, or I believe so. Yeah, I, I could be wrong on that. Yeah, because we were trying to get him back in. Because then all of a sudden, like, I started thinking about it. Because I knew, like, I was like, man, I forgot. I think I was talking to Kwani about it. I was like, he was so on it. And then I was like, I think that was a Cronus, dude. And I'm like, I'm not sure if that's banned. Just like me talking to Kwani. He's like, well, let me look it up. And he looks it up, and it's the second rule in the rule book that Cronuses are banned. That shit is like everywhere, cause. Those converters are hot garbage. There are so many. It's not like one of those things like, oh, it's kind of shitty. Like, we think we don't, we're not quite sure or whatever. That shit has been tested and proven to be shit garbage on many different occasions. It is so bad. There's shit in Tech Talk. There's like 400 different threads in Tech Talk about how garbage that is. So, yeah, that should be in a rule pretty much anywhere. And I played against that shit one time, and I was like, dude, what the hell is going on? Like, I know my execution is not great but it is not this shitty like that stuff is no bueno Dude, all i'm gonna say is the best converter ever was the pelican converter for tekken that's all i'm gonna say yeah it really was good well yeah so we we tried to save adrian because as soon as we saw that i was like dude i'm that that's a cronus dude like i know like i'm telling you guys i saw the c I'm like, that had to have been a Cronus, dude, because what else, you know? So we get we get the attention of the T.O. We're like, hey, we believe that our friend, or that, not like he cheated, but we believe that he used a Cronus, and it's against the rules, you know? And so then we had this whole issue with the T.O.s, 
and um, we were trying to get it resolved. But basically, even even if he was using a Cronus because the match was already played, um, and we don't, yeah, it, that was it. And we we didn't have like hard evidence. Like we didn't actually get the TO to like look like, or the TO wouldn't didn't notice, you know, like. Um, and it sucked because because supposedly Kazunoko is or it was it Kazunoko? Yeah, I think it was Kazunoko single handedly held up Marvel that day, Marvel Pools, because he was playing I guess so many different games and something like that. Oh, that was the day after. Uh, he was in Marvel. He was in all the way to like Winterside and Guilty Gear, and he was still playing uh, Street Fighter. Also. Mm. So yeah, he, probably, he was playing a lot of games. That probably shit took forever. Yeah. So like he supposedly he held up the Marvel tournament single handedly. So even if we wanted to try and replay it, the guy, the TO, his name was Jax. He was, he was cool. He was like, I we're we're four hours behind. Like they're, I'm sorry, but we just can't. And and Adrian was cool about it. Like we tried to get him down here, or tried to get him down to the pool and everything. But it was like, Adrian was cool about it, and it just sucked. Like, I I honestly think like to this like, I think it was a converter, and I think Adrian should have made top 32 losers. Like, he he was on another level, dude. He was he was kicking some ass, dude. So um, yeah, shout out to that. That that really sucked. I mean, I wish I would have been able to say something earlier and could have could have saved something, you know. Like I said, it ah, uh, but yeah. Um, who's that? I know you have the picture up there. Have I talked about everybody except for me? Save me for last. I didn't want to talk about me and just rant. Uh, like I have been this whole time. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> um, so my first match. So who did I play? I don't even remember where I played. I'm so good, dude. Uh, I know I played second, cause cause the guy who I played second is the one who actually like it got me mad. Um, I think cause I I honestly think I three zeroed whoever I played first. Um, but I I think it was from. Oh. Who was it? Oh, I played a new guy. That's why. Guy, guy was totally new to the game. His name was like Toxic or something like that. Totally new. That was three zero. It was free. That, that's why. Play the second guy. This guy's name was Disrespect. Okay, that says who his name was. I have no idea. I'm assuming so. Or I'm. That's what. That's what. He, that's what he said to me. Yeah, Disrespect. Or maybe Disrespect, like a K and a T at the, at the end. You know, Disrespect. Yeah, like wrecked. Maybe some. Maybe something like that. But um. He he played zero may cry, and did not even attempt a single loop. It it made it made me very very mad. Yeah, it made me mad. <laughs> no, not like, not 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 that like playing like Richard made me mad. I mean Richard's a bitch anyways. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I, my bad. I, Richard is a B word. I didn't mean to use, you know, those adult words in front of him. Um, okay. Are you good? Um, no, um, <laughs> no, it just, okay, so, uh, he played Zero May Cry, and I had him 2-0, okay? And I was dropping kind of a lot. And Adrian, like, cause Adrian, Adrian was my coach for my first two games. Luckily, Adrian, Adrian, great coach, by the way. But anybody playing Marvel, Adrian's great coach. Like seriously, um, which we'll call it. So like, I had him two zero, and uh, he finally started to catch on. And, and Adrian realized that after the first game, he started to realize that you know, he's he's getting hit a lot of the time because of Hagger, which is you know part of my main game. Hold that Buster, use my Hagger assist, and play my neutral, um, and. Um, it got to a point where, like, he was beating me, but he was he was just getting me on incoming damage. Like, he would do the full, like, zero may cry, like, damage-wise. Like, get the incoming, Virgil, Dante, bring it down. And then he would buster to lightning, but he wouldn't even show Genmu. He would just, he would just backdash and then just 
jam session again and and, and just get like like as if it's like an incoming like left, right, yeah. yeah and i'm just kind of like are you serious like finish your fucking plate <laughs> like it was one of those things like i know that i kind of got more mad because it was like you're playing zero like and i kind of like me personally like i i know that, okay for some people lightning loops are not that hard like some people they just pick it up and it's super easy and they can just do it on stick like fucking whatever right but like i busted my ass trying to learn those things like and then like up my game and shit so like it's one of those things where like i was like you're not gonna beat me like this you're not gonna beat me yeah this is not happening like you don't even have loops down like not not to sound like you don't even have loops dude you fucking suck but it was one of those that i was seriously like no dude you're another yeah this is not happening you're another zero player you're not even gonna kill me with loops dude i'm sorry that's that's fucking not happening so it went two two and finally i started hagger i was playing him zero zero the whole time and i started hagger he wasn't ready for it and i got him three two so that was me so i made it to winner semis at this point flocker has been sent to losers by a guy named rib and we we're like whoa and i'm like holy shit i have a shot i have a shot i had to play snake tits in winter semis so west coast against west coast this kind of sucks because you know i was actually hoping to just always like play south all the way through um with the help i didn't have adrian backing me up this time so with the help of uh, noel brown not for me but for snake tits i lost 3-1 to snake tits and then from there I had to play flocker and I lost 3-0 and like if I would have won if I would have beat snake tits then I would have been in winners finals of the pool and I would have played um, I would have played rib I don't know what he plays but I mean winners finals I mean at least I would have been there and then losers final I, it's still a shot shot to get out of the pool um, but I like I said I lost to flocker but I, I, I felt good how I played against Flocker, like one one zero or one zero him was it just a, was me just all right let me let me what can I do here and he just got me right away one zero him whatever second game I start zero I started zero the whole time and our zeros are battling until there's 50 seconds left on the clock the actual Marvel time all three characters. So I know I played his neutral. I played that neutral really strong, and I kept up with his zero. Still lost three zero, like I said. But even after that, oh, because even after that that long neutral fight, he still hits zero. Hager comes in. I push zero from my corner from this incoming. I push zero all the way to his corner, kill zero, and then fucking lose the incoming. And X Factor to try and keep myself safe, but it ends up blowing up my X Factor, and then I lose, and that's 2 0, and then 3 0 from there, and then burm, 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 burm. game over. And so, I mean, but I, like I said, I still felt I played pretty strong, like overall, uh, even in casuals, I, I, was, I wasn't losing, like, or like I wasn't getting beat bad. I, I was adjusting, and the South, there's so many different teams, so many different styles out there, like, or. I get so many different styles only because there's so many different teams. Like they said, so many or people play what they want to play out there. So you're gonna get like random stuff. Like I said, X23 Dante Iron Man, uh, Virgil Scroll Akuma, uh, Thor Hagger Sentinel. Like I mean, they're just big bodies. Because uh, usually it's uh, who, who's in front. Hulk's usually in front. You usually don't see Thor. Um, what other teams did I see? Um, Oh, I played a great Spider-Man. I was telling Watts, I played a uh, Spider-Man Dorm Doom. This guy was 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 on point with Spider-Man. His name was EJ. Um, he was really on point with his stuff. Uh, what else did I see down there? Um, so actually, saw a lot of haggers. Actually, in general, so I was like the South. You know what? The East Coast is probably meant for big teams, dude. Yeah, I think so. A lot of Hulks, a lot of haggers, a lot of segments from the East Coast. That's what I feel. Like, uh, <laughs> I see a lot of those when I watch. When I used to watch a lot of Marvel from there, so I I actually didn't know. Like, I was kind of just going in. Like, I, you know, not a lot of people just play Hagger in general. But I saw like just in pools and stuff. I actually saw a lot of different people using Hagger, and I was just kind of like, oh shit, they have Hagger experience down here because in in pools. Like, I, I think uh, like I said against that Zero May Cry player, he had he had Hagger experience, and then even. Um, who else was it? Was it Max? I think when I was playing Max, Max knew some of some of my stuff. 
or he just knew how to fight Hager in general. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it it was cool. Like it was it was so sick to be down there because even then, being being in pools, uh, like just everybody getting hyped. So many people around. So many like or so many stations. There was so much so much to watch. And at one point near the end of it, because they since they were so behind, like you, I, I, the stream cut out early, right? Yeah. So there was like at least. It was so. It was ridiculous. There was just so much going on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There was so much going on in all the streams. You couldn't watch all of it. It was yeah. impossible. So like there was like six different game or six different matches left for Marvel, and so like we all crowded up on these last like four stations, uh, where uh, like you know where to play and. Everybody who was still in the ballroom was like on chairs, like surrounding everything, trying to catch these last matches. There was like, it was like Justin versus Clockwork, uh, Marvello versus uh, Marlon Pie, like all, all of them to, to qualify for top eight. Um, Jay Rosa versus uh, shit, who was he playing? I don't know who he was playing, but <laughs> Jay Rosa got so mad and so salty. As soon as he lost, he went and he threw his controller down to the ground and it bounced back up and smacked Paulino's hand. Mm -hmm. And it was actually like, Paulino was actually like for a while kind of like, yeah, dude, my fucking hand hurts. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was that mad. And it was crazy because it, <laughs> it smacked Paulino's hand and then I guess Bruce is like kind of back behind like watching too. And I think it was Adrian. Adrian saw it coming and was like, Bruce, you need to move out of the way right now. Like, or like, you need to get ready to move. Get ready to move. But he still didn't get out of the way. So like, the salt, like the rampage, he gets up, he throws it, and he starts to walk off. And you see, like, Bruce wasn't ready. So like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see me in the camera. I'm just doing it for everybody else. But like, Bruce, you see it like coming this way. Bruce is like, and it goes up on the wall and it's like <laughs> this dude like don't like Ugh, and he just fucks Walk, fucking walks out dude <laughs> he was so fucking mad after he got I think I think it lost a paradigm I think he just got fucking piped and he was just pissed I think that's what happened but um yeah that was that, that was cool though like I said everybody was just getting loud for it like that's that's one thing like one thing I took from, from, like, the Atlanta scene when I was down there was, like, I and mean, it's kind of always be on your toes. Or, like, more so, like, I don't want to say, like, like they, they just talk shit and they, and they back it up type thing. But, like, I don't know. They're just, they're just louder and they're more vocal. So, you feel like if when, when they're vocal, you know, you have to be vocal because you want to you wanna stand up for yourself. Just, like, yeah. That's like, what it's like. Yeah, the East Coast in general is like that. Yeah. So like I mean like I said that's my first experience with it. So like like I said with that dude, woo, let's go! Like you know, even me yelling back, I was like, no, fuck that, let's go, Bruce! Like yelling, you know, trying to fight back with the crowd and everything. And and ever like since then and even since since you know since the poke chop loss, like it, like starting from there, like the salt and everything, it was just like I I was on my toes and I was just like I. I kind of dare it. No, nobody did, and, and it's not like I was looking for it either. I, I'm, I'm never looking for a fight, just me in general. I'm never looking for a fight. But I was kind of like, I I dare somebody to come at me and, like, come and money match me. Like, I dare. Like, I honestly do. Like, I'm, I'm ready to play, and I'm ready to, like, just fuck up whoever thinks they're going to take my money. Like, you know, or, like, just... Is that, I don't know. Does that make sense? Like so, yeah. like, like so. I felt like, like, like I always, I always want to have that fire in me. Like especially bringing it back here. Like, like, like. There was one thing I tried to practice for for final round because I knew it was gonna get loud, and that's why I went to the UGC qualifier and stuff like that, and just did, did traveling different different environment and people getting loud and stuff like that. But it was um um. What was I gonna say? Like. I wanted to train myself to, 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 to be with the noise, to, to be with the pressure and stuff like that, but also back up what I'm going to say. So in the same way, that's what I want to try and bring back. Uh, oh, that's what I want to say. Like, uh, I wanted to travel with and, and get used to hostility and, and get used to really, like, I mean, people are fucking in your face. People are yelling because that's, that's what really kind of breaks me sometimes. Like, even even here at TTS, it's like, like people get hype and everything, and sometimes like, I, get, I start thinking about that. I'm like... 
they get hype over something that I just got hit by. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm fucking up. Like, God damn it. Like, no, 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 no. Um, and so, like, I wanted to to fix that and and just get and, – and be able to, to handle that. And, and um, like I say, it's not, it's not that hostile here, but, I mean – you're all friends no, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, don't get me wrong, but like, but even even sometimes when I'm playing, like I still try and keep the mentality. Like, you, oh, yeah. at least for this, at least, oh, that's a perfect example. yeah. No, it, but like it, it, with this game, like like if anybody wants to take this, like with Marvel, like I mean, uh, there's there's really you can't give a second chance. Like you always you always have to kill, and you have to have that killer mentality. Like which is the same way like with Poke Chop. Like I should I should have killed. Like you you just kill that character and it's done. Which is one thing I always. I, I always stood on like like playing vanilla Marvel. It was just like kill that character, it's done. Get ready for it. Like I used to never snap. Like never, never, never. Like now it's kind of like a little little tiny bit part of my game. But um, like um, what was I saying about that? Like it, oh, just have like a just a killer mentality. And so bringing that back, like that hostile mentality, like, to at least have that killer mentality. That like even you guys, like if somebody was to challenge me here in San Diego, like it's like yeah. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to play, like, no matter what. That's one thing I, I wanted to try and hold no matter what from that. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, so that was, what was that? That was Pools? Yeah, we're still Pools. <laughs> God damn it. Well, okay, so, yeah, Pools, I don't remember what, uh, we didn't do any big more money matches that night. Um, where did we, tra- where did we travel? Where did we travel? Trying to think of that night, man. Uh, well, the Waffle House is godlike. Everybody go to the Waffle House. Some people were giving it a bad name while we were out there. It's fucking delicious. Yeah. For me, our table was me, Paulino, Bruce. Bruce got a full ass meal. Paulino got a full ass meal. I got two big ass waffles and some bacon. It was 1957. That's what's up, man. It was godlike, dude. And then, like, even Ryan. I don't know how much Ryan in, in there. It was Ryan, Earl, Quan, and um, who else was at the other? Who else was there? Ryan, oh, and Adrian at the other table. Ryan ordered, like, six fucking plates of hash browns, dude. <laughs> the the waitress, like, looked at him like he was fucking crazy, I guess. Yeah, like he's, yeah, like he's Chinese. <laughs> but, like, um, the Waffle House is godlike. Uh, I wish I would have went there. I wish I'd ate there like all weekend. Um, oh, what's up, Toki? For Japan, nah. What, what the fuck is he doing in Japan? Just hanging That's, out, living the dream and shit. Living the dream, dude. Hell yeah! Shout out to Toki, dude. Um, That's what's up, dude. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what else. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other stories. Cause I know we didn't. That the the Bruce money match was, was like so godlike. Uh, Paulino took money from Andre. Um, God, because Finals Day, Finals Day was just like Marvel was was kind of a drag. I mean, besides, oh my God, okay, actually, the Justin Wong woman that was in Top Eight. You guys watch Top Eight Marvel? Justin Wong woman when he came back, the whole fucking room went. Dude, like I literally, I stood, I stood in my chair, I was. Fucking screaming like a little girl, like Justin Wong! Oh my god! It was fucking nuts, though, dude. Like literally, the whole room just lit up. Like, oh my god, dude! Like Evo, like Evo's an experience, dude. You know, like, but final round is also an experience down there too. Like I said, being every major's an yeah, yeah. Every major's got their own thing that they're good for, stuff like that. And there's just that tournament's always crazy, and it's not just crazy for one game. And what's good about final round is it's like it's crazy for games like Tekken, games that like don't get any time, that games that people don't give a shit about. People, they just don't really understand it though. That's why final round is good. It always has. It's always been good for every game that's there. That's like the main thing that I take away from that shit. Just watching. It. I've never been there. Hopefully next year, but we'll see. Yeah, definitely. I I say that everybody should go. At least once, somehow, some way. Like, I fucking absolutely loved it. Like it was, like I said, time of my fucking life, dude. Um, yeah. So uh, that I mean, finals. Like it, for Tekken, Tekken was was pretty hype. I actually didn't go. I actually power nap during Tekken. The jet lag was was too real at that point. Like I was literally, we were going to sleep like anywhere between 
like four and six a.m. like that time. You know, being at two to three our time, but we would get up anywhere between eleven and one one o'clock at the latest. Like like for sure. Like we were actually like out of there. So I can't even say that. Maybe eleven to twelve. No matter what, we had to be up and we were all showered. So like five to six. Hours. I honestly didn't feel like I slept the entire weekend. I felt like I was on a constant just maybe power naps and then just more Marvel, more whatever, just, I mean, which was great. Don't get me wrong. It was fucking awesome, but I was on just a constant run. I um, think that's it. I mean, finals finals is too hype. I don't know. Uh, near the end of it, I know I'm kind of blanking out. Uh, it, it was just, it, it was awesome. If I remember any stories, I'll just, I'll, I'll think of them and just say them as I go. Here you go. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna see. I know Vince has like a lineup, and we'll do. But I want to ask you a question. Like what? And I ask everyone this question, but I want to know your uh, point of view. Okay. So what do you think about the San Diego scene, and it, and like where do you think it is right now? Um, I'm actually gonna. I'll, I'm gonna break this down into the Marvel and. Well, I guess. Mar- yeah, I'll say Marvel. Okay, Mar- oh, Mar- Marvel, Marvel, and Street Fighter. Since I, I, I think I talked to a lot of you guys, and, and at least feel like I should give you guys an outside perspective. So maybe, you know, at least the Street Fighter scene can, can grow from there a little bit. But um, I'll, I'll go with Marvel first just because, you know, Marvel's where, yeah, that's that's where I play. Um, the Marvel scene right now, um, I love them. So, uh, okay, actually, but first, for, before I start getting into the real questions, uh, I just want to do a disclaimer. Um, anything I'm saying, I'm sorry if it comes off mean. I promise you it's not. I'm just trying to say say it plainly, say, say it plainly like... I'm really, you know, you guys all know me. I'm not, I'm not mean. Yeah, I'm not mean, and I, I, I know. I just, I just, I just hope nobody takes any disrespect to it because you guys know I'm never like that. But I just want to say that for sure. You guys know I love you. See the heart. I love you guys. Okay. Um, the scene right now, Marvel. Um, we have, we have a dedicated group of guys, which is awesome. But, we, I mean, we always need work. And the problem, I think, if I, I think our scene is strong. Like going out to final round, besides the one game Marvel stuff, we all showed up in our pools, minus Paulino right. and Ryan Tang. But I mean, we all we all showed up, and and we all showed that we we pretty much we can hang. I mean, like I said, even Earl, like not saying Earl's bad. I know he's gonna fucking hate me how I said that, but not saying Earl's bad. But like. He has great neutral, and he was keeping up. And like I said, he clutched out that win. Like I was really proud of him. Like I said, I really want to keep saying like he played really well. And um, it's like it showed that like we can hang. But like the problem with us is that because we're we're, we're so little, we're only a dedicated few. We're free to a lot of stuff, and that's the problem. And I wish that everybody would still come out. And and play because that's the only way we're gonna get better. Obviously, the the same shit you hear every day. I feel I feel we're strong. We we can keep up with everybody, and and I will say that 100% that San Diego Marvel can keep up with just about any other scene out there. I will say that for sure. Um, but we we crack to unfamiliarities, me uh, meaning mostly to be honest, jam session. And really good strider assists, and like you know those those real top tier teams. But like we have great magnetos. Nobody can fucking touch our magnetos in San Diego. Fucking come at me with that. I got fucking three, four, fucking five guys that play magneto. If you think your magneto is better, dude. Like, yeah, exactly. Like we have godlike magnetos here. Cause anytime I play a different magneto from another area, like they are so slow, and I'm just like, it gets to a point like I play, I have to play zero point here like you guys all know, all know my team and like i had to play zero point for any magneto down here and those other magnetos i could play hagger point free and it's not even a problem i shouldn't even be playing hagger against magneto like it's, it's it's so free for that and like but i'm like nah this magneto sucks you're gonna get piped all day or apologize or fucking whatever um so um what was i saying we just, uh, yeah, we we can hang with stuff, but like I said, we lose to a lot of unfamiliarities. Um, uh, 
yeah, like, I guess that's it. I just, I wish a lot of people still play the game. This game is still fun, guys. Don't, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think it's still fun, even though, like, I'm still playing all these other fucking other games. Like, I still somehow come back to this game and still have fun with it. So, like, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it's dead. Yeah, or maybe, even, even, even though, like, it should be every, I mean, if you played it and you you put in work into this game, like, it should be your game. Like, you've enjoyed it. Like, uh, well, I guess, I'm like, if you enjoyed it, if you don't enjoy it, you don't enjoy it anymore. But I'm just like, I just, for those that were really into it, I feel like, I'm like, just come back. Just, just come play with us, dude. Like, like, I mean, we, we miss you. <laughs> like, but it, it, you're only, you're only. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just really what it is. Um, I think I, I think that was pretty much it for for Marvel. I think I covered both questions, right? If I didn't yell at me, uh, for Street Fighter, um, sorry guys if I'm too critical. I hate how Street Fighter has become. I, I honestly hate it because I used to actually take pride. Like, because our Marvel scene sucked. Like, we, we kind of flip flop, guys. Our Marvel couldn't defend our turf, but our Street Fighter could. And our and our Street Fighter could really, like, convincingly. And it was really awesome to see that. And we had a huge scene. Even, even I mean, both 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 scenes, like, you know, back at Old Salma and stuff, we had, we had great turnouts for both games and stuff like that. But our, our, our Street Fighter scene was just so good. It was so, it was so good. And just, like, people were just started to give up on it or just something something happened because obviously people started to give up on marvel and people really gave up on street fighter like come on guys like like i said I, like I, I come out i come out to lines every fucking week guys like and some of you guys can't like some of you street fighter guys really can't make it at least once every two weeks out of your paycheck like i mean i mean really like i i i know you guys are busy but like i don't want to be one of those fucking dudes like come on fucking come out but like really dude like Street Fighter is dying out here, dude. It's it's fucking dying, like, and they need it. Like, it, I I know you guys probably get tired of Richard Richard winning. Like, fuck Richard, just just don't have him be in the tournament. Like like you know, do like Survivor, like vote you off the island. Just fuck it, you know. Like, but just or if not, I mean, fuck it, you know. Sometimes you just gotta deal with that shit. You just gotta deal with them winning. Like, I dealt with fucking Dios winning for fucking ever at Salt Mines. Yeah. Like every time, any time, like I was never nowhere even close to beating Dios. I was close to beating him once, and that's one of the that's one of the matches that is forever engraved in my brain. And um, I'll tell it. I don't know. I tell a story. Um, but uh, I forgot where I was going with that. Um, brain for it guys yeah I yeah, just I just it, it just makes me sad like I just wish for for Street Fighter I think people actually really need to come out and actually support it like just play the game even, like even if Richard wins it's on then maybe you just gotta get better dude like you just gotta learn it you just I mean learn a different matchup you gotta learn a different strategy I've been losing to Rusty I've only beaten Rusty in an actual set like where it meant something like him like even just getting off the station and that was it like I've only beaten one him once to get off the station. 3-2. Okay? And I still fucking come out every week. And it's finally it's finally to this point that like some of you guys have seen it. I play a strider now. Like I have a little pocket strider and it's just for Bruce. Make the adjustment. If he's beating you, figure out why he's beating you and beat him. You know what I mean? He's human too. And he's fucking 5'4. Yep. He's a kid. Fuck that guy. I agree with you 100%. It's just that the Street Fighter scene you see is all the, literally all the people that play the game. Because, like, the only, honestly, the only people we're missing are, like, Nia. As I honestly think we're only missing Nia when every Monday. It's just that. And then what happens is, um, the whole, like, the whole. It's, but like, where, where's, where's the old turnouts then? Like, like who? Like that's why I'm asking. Like I don't really, I don't like. I've been like playing since like a long, like before '09, and like I just see like, I know like, like, 
I don't know. Like, cause no, a lot of people. You guys used to have like twenty man tournaments. I don't remember those. That's a thing. Like, was there really twenty man tournaments? No. For back in old songs, not not Pangea, the, the, the good venue. Like, yeah, I know. Well, those were like the Marvel players that came to play the Pop Monsters, like all the people that, like all the people that when it was only five dollars and the people were playing Marvel, and then like it was like Chet playing, then and Connor or I'm sorry Jenny and Jason, like it was, those were just five bucks. And then like of course like the venue happens and like people don't want to pay the extra. And like a lot of the Street Fighter players were Marvel players. That was like the crazy thing about it. Yeah, maybe that's what. Cause I don't know, like like. Cause literally all the players I see are the ones that are still going, and then like, it's like, and then like maybe Ad Axis and like, I can only like honestly say the people that are not coming out is like what Ad Axis, Casey Core, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, unfortunately. yeah, and then like, some like, yeah, and then like I think Street Fighter is like way more spread out too. Like a good amount of our players do come from San Marcos and SMD. That's like the like I I've said this a million times and like Legati said this like S, like OFC is the only reason why Street Fighter is still alive in San Diego, and that's like that's in the in the end it's the truth man like everyone was just that like the game was the game's dead, but then like luckily there was OFC and then like that brought it back I mean there's like literally when I see the tournaments and turnouts like I don't I already expect it like I know the scene is dude I say this every day there are 500 people in that fucking SD fight scene here, but they're not all players man they're just all. Like bots. They're bots, pop monsters, just like people that think they know what they're talking about, but they don't, and they think we're assholes for saying that, but we're not. Yeah, that's just uh, that's just what it is. We're just like calling it out, dude. Like you, it's like 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 I don't know. Maybe I mean it just Mondays were so cool. Like that's like because it, it was so packed. Like like that was the cool thing, and now it seems like. You know, we just lost people, and, and no, no, yeah. But I mean, if it was mostly Marvel players, then maybe I, I mean, I just didn't really realize it. But it just, it just seemed like no matter what, Mondays is always packed. Like I said, you guys have like twenty man tournaments, which is great compared to the six to eight people that show up every week. Like you know, so that that that's my point. But I just, I hate to see you guys. Like I see, like we had it strong. Like I said, we we had a strong Street Fighter scene, and the fact that. We flip like it, it should be strong Street Fighter and strong Marvel, you know. Yeah. And our and our and our strong Street Fighter that we had, I would put money on to go against any other region, you know, straight up, just like in the same way I would for us as Marvel. So that's that's how I feel about our scene. No, I I, I honestly still think that we do have a strong Street Fighter scene. I mean, if you look at the last tournament, I mean, I don't remember like there there hasn't been a Wednesday night fight in a while, like a real one, right? I'm I'm not, I just, I'm gonna say it straight up. I'm never gonna play an online tournament. Fuck that. Why would I ever play an online tournament? Why would I waste my time? So then, like, uh, like every time they went up to Wednesday night fights or the people that could, they always did good. And then they went to the the, the tournament in the valley, and look, Manny got what third, and then uh, and Richard got top eight. They, and every time they go up there, like they always people talk about them. I mean, Alex Valley talks about it. like everyone. I really think our street fighter scene they're well known. That's the only reason I guarantee you, like, dude, Alex Valley would not come down here if he didn't know anyone down here. Yeah. Like, I really feel like he came down here because he knew that he, like, he knows Richard's good. He loves Alexis. That shit's crazy. Yeah, it's really and then he, like, like, he always, it's like unhealthy. he always likes talking to me because, like, that guy, man, I'll fuck it. But no, that, I really think, like, our, our Street Fighter, is, the stream's, like, still strong, but it's just strong within, like, five players. But no, trust me. You, you know what we need is that this is what we need. We need, <laughs> this is why I stopped going to the saw mines. It's because the venue changed. It was for me. It was far. I mean, it's not only an exit away, but I mean, it's still far. I started working mornings, and it was ten bucks. Every the old saw mines, I always played Marvel and Street Fighter for ten bucks, and I just lost interest. So, so it's kind of like saying how, like I said, oops, I said oops. So, <laughs> oops. No, like how I said that, like the Street Fighter players are Marvel players. It's like saying that you lost Marvel players because I, I was a Street Fighter player playing Marvel. You know what I mean? And then I'd rather pay. If I had to pay ten bucks and five bucks for the venue, I'd rather pay five bucks for the venue and the game that I'm there to play. And then like, but then I, there, there's a point in time where it's like I might just start picking up Marvel again just because it's the only game at Mondays. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then just go to play casuals with like Richard and Manny and like Alex. You know what I mean? But then this is like this question is always the same. I, the reason I think the scene died is because of the five dollar venue. That that seeded all the pop monsters. Like all the people. They're, no, I'm sorry. No, I, I really think there was a lot of people. Like, there, there was like, yeah, you're right. There were like 30 people, blah, blah, blah. I don't see them no more. Because honestly, after they said the venue, a lot of people stopped playing. But then again, like, I don't I, I don't know what really happened, though. But but then again, like, I always give respect to the people that still come out. Like, dude, you, like, you, like, you're, like, like this right here. It's always going to be them. 
Fucking Paulino lives in what? San Marco or Vista, right? Mm -hmm. So like always him, and then I don't know where the fuck Bruce is from. And then, Parts unknown, man. and I'm pretty sure if Ryan Tang still lived in San Diego, he would be there every yeah, fucking Monday, dude. Like, I guarantee you that one bit. Like, everyone you see in this picture are always there Monday. Even fucking Kwani, dude. He's the real life guile at the moment. He's always there, dude. Adrian's always there. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone in this picture will always be there. Except for Ryan Tang, because he can't. But, and then plus, I can't even say a plus, because, okay, plus like Chet and then Jenny, Johnny. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's your Marvel scene, and that's, like, I don't know. I don't want to, like, ah. it sucks, though. No, there was a big turnout. What, what do you want to say? Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> it, um, what was I going to say? Oh, actually, no. Uh, I, like, I I can agree to the, the, the venue fee being being a huge, like, killer to, to a certain extent. I personally think, like, and, and I hate to say it, like, and I was saying it actually when we first did it. I think the move, I think, completely actually killed kind of what we had. Like, I'm sorry to say it. No, a lot of players do. Like, yeah. You know, a lot of players live down south. You know? Yeah, and just, it, it just became, like, a really, like, long drive. And just the way the venue is set up, like, I, I still love Soul Mines. I, I still love that we have a fucking venue and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yeah. But, yeah, I think the move and, and how it was there, like, it actually killed killed a little bit of what we had like or, or not killed a little bit i think that that's the biggest reason why yeah yeah no yeah mike is completely right the sun's up who cares mike is completely right dude it's because the old venue even Pangea was a good venue but god damn it i hate you richard and gerald so much anyway no the only reason the old venue was good is because you didn't have to walk okay the old venue was good is because you didn't have to walk upstairs you didn't need a fucking password to get in and it wasn't like a shady building where you literally had no space. And you know, don't get me wrong, I am, I am. What's what I'm looking for? I am. Huh? You tell me, man. I am more than thankful for this. Like, I'm more. I'm thankful for this building. I'm thankful for the salt mines because it gives us a place to play. But yes, like, the old salt mines was open. It was an open area, and you can just walk in without a problem. You walked in, but then there's like, I've, I've there are so many messages I've seen online. That said, I'm here. What's the password? And then like, you know, I don't see them because like, why would I? And it's like, wow, you lost like five people because yeah. no one's there, or you know what I mean? But it's also, I mean, we also had to move because of you know oh. security reasons. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And that, that's the bad part too. Is that yeah, you walk yeah. in and, and anybody can walk in, and that that is slightly a bad part. No, yeah. yeah. It's just that it sucks because it was a convenient location. Yeah. That and it was in so Mira Mesa's in the middle. No not Mira Mesa, Claremont. Was in the Claremont literally is in the middle of my area and Esco. It's the middle of fucking San Diego. I really do think that. Yeah, it, and then it was, it was and you lost it, but then but then the thing is there is a lot of players from Mary Mesa, but they moved to Mary Mesa and then they don't come out. You know what I mean? But then again, it is like the the fighting. The, I think any the fighting game scene in general is just a very like hostile or it's a it's a giant pool to, to jump jump into. You know what I mean? Like. If you're new to it, you're going to be scared. But this is what I always say. It's like, if you want to play these games and get better, you have to go have to. to yeah. No, I, I, will, I will, like, I will say, I will say my, like, I don't know, like, my own personal rants to that. Because, I mean, like, yeah, you, you really have to come out. Like, like I said, I was, I was scared to come out. And, and like, I found out about the San Diego scene. And, and back then it was uh, Box Arena and, uh, or Box Sessions and, and TTF. So I went out to... Box Arena ch once, I believe, maybe twice. Well, my the, my my first thing ever. Um, actually, I should have told this story. I'm so sorry, guys. Should have told this story way back when, when I was getting into the scene. It's actually because of JMO. JMO is actually the reason why I got into the scene. Little. Like okay. For all those who don't know who the mod, the original mods for the SC5 scene are, or like they're literally, it's literally JMO and Jamal. Are the two mods and then Jamo and Jamal? Jamo was always the one that was always telling people about everything, dude. But yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it, it, it was actually a funny story because like he um. Snail. Actually, this is this is snail. In here? Oh, um, yeah. Jamo actually got me into the scene because um, I actually knew Jamo before that. Um, so going going way back when he um, Josh is was uh he has a friend named Enrique who was actually dating my sister at the time. And I, and I went, I went 
to a party uh, for my sister. It was her birthday, and, and Josh was there. And um, it was funny. Like, I met him. I didn't think anything of it. And uh, I'm sure he actually remembered me because that night my car got stolen. Yeah, so like I know it was a huge thing. It was a huge thing. And he was trying to come for me, you know, type of things. I was, I'm, I was pissed, and I, I won't lie, man. Like I was crying. I was like, "Fuck, dude, what am I gonna do about my car?" And um, so I, I, I went to Winter Games Fest. Um, the one, uh, the one with the famous picture of Tong against Joe. <laughs> <laughs> On the record, me and Gerald are on the front page of SRK. Top eight for me for Super was it Super? Yeah. And then Gerald was top eight for Marvel. So yeah. me and Gerald so, top eight. <laughs> actually, uh, my first my first match was actually against Gerald. Was it? Way oh. way back when. Do you remember that? Oh, that was pretty hype, dude. Like way. Uh, oh, you know what? I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was on PS. I the next time I saw you, yeah. I you PS3 pad. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, <laughs> Come on. Long ways, huh? <laughs> yeah, so uh, my my first match was Gerald on stream and um Yeah, that um it was actually in casuals. Basically in casuals, uh J Mo had saw me and I didn't even see him and I went through Warner Games Fest and it was whatever and then uh J Mo found me on Facebook, uh, like obviously through my sister and uh he was like, Yo man, uh, I actually play with like all the fighting game people, like you should come out to box, like this is the address and come out and play with us and i was like dude like you know i was oh my gosh you, you play with all those guys like oh yeah, oh yeah i'll be there and i went out once and um i got bodied um what's funny i, I forgot who I, I lost to in uh winners but uh in losers it was actually you cody at winter game fest no it was at a, a random box box session really? <laughs> I get, Cody, I'm part of that story too, man. Wow. I, I beat him in a, a first round of losers. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, actually, I don't know if you remember this as well. The first, the very first Pangea oh, salt no, mines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? The very. <laughs> so okay, I, I'll, I'll get to that as he's looking to, for the picture. So like, I I went to that box session. Like I, I, I made a, I made a. You know, I made some friends stuff like that, but I was, um, it was one of those, like I said, I was scared, mostly, the, the huge difference was, was also the, the Xbox thing, but I was scared to come out and play, and really, but I was like, I, like I, I told myself, I wanted, I wanted to get good at this game, and, and if I'm, I'm gonna learn this game, and I gotta, I gotta, you have to go out, guys, like, you have to, and, and at least for me, thankfully, like, the San Diego fighting game seemed like we're, we're, we're not assholes, despite what people say, like, <laughs> Yeah, fucking whatever, dude. Um, like, you know, I, I was able to talk to some people and, like, even just keep encouraging me to play. Like, this is this. So, as, I, as I'm as i mentioning people all in this room, um, well, for one thing, actually, I'll go with Diado here. One of the, when Salt Mines is back in the same convoy spot, um, I got there early one time and it was literally just me, Diado, and Ryan. And me and Diado played like, I think somewhere near like 60 games, 60 or 70 games, because like nobody had shown up, and I just set up my Xbox and we just started playing. And I didn't, I didn't know Diado. I literally just met him, and um, you know, this is back then. I still don't know anybody, and I'm, I'm still just trying to play, and I'm trying to play and just, just play, and I'm not trying to say anything bad or anything, like you know. And um, <laughs> I know, I know, I was getting, I know, I was getting Diado mad. Cause I, I I think I like four streaked him to a second and he was giving me bad. But don't get me wrong, we were going back and forth near the end of it. Like, but I think I won. Like I think it was like 28, 26, something random. We just had finally stopped playing. And um, but it, in the mid in mid set, uh, I forgot who came up to you, and uh, you, you, you said what's up, and then uh, I said what's up. I was like, oh yeah, what's going on? He was like, I think they were messing with you. Like, oh yeah, dude, you're getting fucking wrecked right now, huh? Or something like that. And he was like. Nah, well, yeah, this this guy's pretty good, dude. Like, <laughs> so I was like, oh, sick. I'm doing something right. Like, <laughs> and then like you know stuff like that. It was just it. Like I said, I was doing something right. So obviously coming there was was helping me play and helping me get better. And then shit like Richard, I I still remember this to this day. Uh, one time I was leaving Salt Mines, and um, 
Richard, I think I don't know if I went O two or one two or just whatever, but I'm leaving salt mines and uh, Richard looks at me and uh, he was like, "Hey, good games in there." And he was like, and I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." Like you know, and I'm, I'm heading out. I'll catch you later. And he's like, "Hey, don't listen to what anybody fucking says. Keep playing zero. <laughs> Fuck all the haters." And he pointed at me, and I was like, "Thanks, dude. Thanks." <laughs> There it is, yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what's it? What's his name in the uh, the, the Saturday Night Live skit? Uh, yeah, Vert Reynolds. <laughs> Todd. What's, the, what's it? Todd Ferguson. <laughs> so that that picture, they can they can all see it, right? Yeah, that was, that was the first uh, Salt Mines. Uh, I played, I forgot who I played first round. I beat him though. And then uh, I played Dio second round, got bodied. And then I had played Cody with his big ass hat. And I lost 3-1. But what was funny is uh, Cody, at, I guess Crisco was playing my team at the time. Now, this is my team. I'm not going to lie. This, this, this is me all day. I don't care what you guys say. <laughs> Like, and I remember at the time, like, like you had said, like, oh my God, like, what has Crisco done? <laughs> like, <laughs> and he was, and then he was like, like, you guys see this? And I remember asking you, like, oh, is there actually, like, like, what does that mean? Like, is there something I actually know? And you're like, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then just proceeded to body me. Um, yeah, th those are, those are good times. Like I said, you had to come out and you had to take those losses and you, you just have to grind out. Cause most of the time, I mean, with fight, at least with fighting games are like with most stuff, like you have to earn your respect by by getting good or at least showing the dedication that you're actually trying and you're willing to put the effort to try and be good you know like shit like whoa the world wasn't built in a fucking day yeah here go for it i'm, I'm good I'm no i'll tell you one thing dude if you if you want to play street fighter in san diego you're gonna have to fucking play a lot of annoying characters you're gonna have to sit through bison matches you're gonna have to sit through um i'm missing i, I don't know a, a big no you're gonna have to sit through some Tough matchups, and you have to suck it up, dude. Like, no, if every if if, if all the SC players are in one room, you're you're gonna have a gauntlet to go through, dude. And I mean, the, the another reason I like San Diego is because there's a wide variety of characters. If we're all in there, there's a there's literally a wide variety. Like today, there was crazy. There was like, I think the most characters played today was Ryu and Evil Ryu. But besides that, there was at least one of each character. There was a fucking Gen. There's yeah, no, it's true. There was two chuns, but you know. But I mean, even then, like, like, just, I mean, just, just, just going off of that, I mean, like, just Ryu and Evil Ryu were the only like actual like like doubles. That's that's pretty fucking good, dude. Like, cause it's really just like, oh yeah, let me just, let me just switch up Ryu real quick, and and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, like minus the the Bison and Sea uh, Viper that could have played the tournament. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause they both suck. <laughs> no, I mean not the Viper though. Alexis, no BLC Alexis, dude. Oh, this this podcast, ah, oh, nobody bought it for me, huh? This podcast is brought to you by BLC Big League Chew. Give give him a little pinch. The BLC just a pinch, dog. But yeah, here you go. Um, that, that, that's all I gotta say. Oh, that was my question. Was yeah, oh, okay, yeah. I like how that one question turned to that whole thing. Yeah, damn. How do you really follow that up, man? Yeah. Um. By that nice picture, you know. <laughs> that's that's cool. It's the guy we all like to hate, you know. Good times, good times. Oh, yeah, man. What did we say to that? Yeah, man. Say that, dude. I mean, uh, I, I forgot what the original question was. I know I kind of. The, the original question was, um, how do you feel about the San Diego scene? Oh, right oh yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, I know I was saying something else, and then I was like, oh yeah, this story, how I, how I actually got started. Oh, just well, it just turned oh, into just, that. Just turned, no, just turned yeah, out it, 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 right, yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. So yeah, we're good. I mean, no, this was, you know what? This is probably one of my um. I'll put it up there in one of my favorite podcasts because you, you had, you're like one of the first that had a lot to say. It was crazy. It was a really good one. And, I'm, and you're one of the first that actually went to an event, like a event that we could talk about. Yes. And then me and Vince had a lot of things to talk about, about um, what we wanted to talk about. But it's okay because me and Vince can just like do this some other day. And we heard your story. No. No, trust me. Trust me. No, trust me. No. What we want, I'm pretty, and still so much like, well, like you said, like there are a lot of Marvel players in San Diego and I'm pretty sure they'll all love it. I mean, fucking... I don't know how, like, Jenny is still in here, um, Johnny was still, like, dude, there are people and listening, too. and it's already, and it's already seven, fuck, and it's like, this is a Marvel podcast, and this is a really good, it was really cool, and if you're at fun around, uh, hey, that was sick, dude, but what else to say, 
Um, okay. So this is what I'm talking about real quick. All right. I'm talking about the announcement. The oh, the. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Before before I lose uh, track of what I was gonna say earlier, and now I just remembered, the Street Fighter scene in San Diego is a little bit small, but it's really really dedicated. Everybody that everybody that wants to play, we always fucking play. Like, it's ridiculous. It's the same assholes every single time they go to everything, man. There's uh, secret places that they go to play on Wednesdays. And they're there every Wednesday, even if I wish they weren't there. But <laughs> sometimes you call them sick, and then uh, you know, two yeah. people show. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, shows up, you know, unwanted. The- yeah, it's not happening today. I'm sick. Nobody gets the message. They show nah, up anyways. Sure, you know? yeah. <laughs> So that was, uh, That's the best when you're sick and you're like fucking Matt's here. Yeah, I was yeah. I was like, yeah, Matt showed up anyways. Oh yeah, but anyways, yeah. They show up even when I have work and I have to come home and I, there's no time to clean up and there's just like there's just crispy socks everywhere and all kinds of stuff. But it's not my it's not my house by the way, anyways. But uh, yeah, the people that wanna play, we go everywhere. We go to Temecula every other Saturday and thank God they're traveling down to play with us. Everybody that is up there, I say every single time we talk about them, but every single time they travel out, and every other Saturday that we go up there, they improve so much. It's incredible to see that. They all get, they've all gotten so much better. It's ridiculous. So that's what, that's what I wish would have happened, like last year. I wish that the people that wanted to play were as dedicated as they are now. I don't know what happened or how it went down like that, but. The people that play now are just, they want to go everywhere and they just want to play. The people from Mexico that are coming up consistently now, like, it's incredible. It's cool that this is once a month because that makes it a lot easier for people to do. But, uh, yeah, we'll see where that goes. It seems small for Street Fighter, but they're pretty damn good. I'm not going to say that Ilya went to one of those secret sessions for two weeks in a row. And then and then he won four salt mines in a row. No, he won three salt mines in a row and won Wednesday Night Fights. But that's exactly what happened. And I'm the best. <laughs> And, get <laughs> and shout out to Ilya for repping TTF at Wednesday Night Fight Series. Yeah, but anyway, so and that's yeah. al- that's also he says it all the time, but he says TTF is his favorite place to play out of anything. I don't know why, but yeah. I don't know why either. <laughs> <laughs> there should be no one's favorite place to play. Anyway, so that said, um, the sad news is that um, Ryan Tang, he, after a great event like final round, he hit us with some sad news about. May 30th being the last day of the salt mines. I hope this is like some kind of build up to like something awesome like he's working on finding somewhere. But then like how he said it kind of yeah, it sounds pretty bad. But um and then what that re- if you think about it what that really means is like there's like literally nowhere to play anymore. But the secret announcement is that uh, SCR will be at TTF and the park <laughs> We got set up the park. Yeah, dude. It'll be, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. Gone works for the Parks and the Recs, dude. So we're gonna we're gonna get like a giant can. It's gonna be, no. Anyway, you know what? Okay, so May thirtieth is the last day. So what uh, the announcement was is that after May thirtieth, TTF will be open again every Friday. Yeah. May, thir- but after, cause don't that's that is a problem to some. And there's like there's a hole still in the ceiling. But anyway, <laughs> the <puppet show>. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, good. Yeah, but yeah, but no. And then and then the reason only May thirtieth is because I, I want to go to I want to go as many dust loops as I can before I open up TTF again. Because what like the, the the pro is yes I had TTF again and then the negative is I won't be able to play at dust loop, which is like been a shout to dust loop, which has been an amazing experience playing because yeah, like seriously. that place is fucking the characters, man. I hope. You know what? Also, this is what I'm gonna say too. Is uh, what Richard? You want a Lonnie plug-in, Richard? No. Okay. Anyway, so um, Jesus. He looks so mad. <laughs> Serious mode, dude. dude. <laughs> no. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So, so this is what I'm gonna say is that TTF. Oh, T- T- I can't talk right now. Anyway, TTF will be open May after May 30th. It's gonna be open again every Friday. May May 30th is the last uh. It's the last day, right? So after May, whatever month is after May, I don't care. Um, yes. So then, I'm saying this once, I'm saying this twice, twice, whatever. The venue is open for everyone. If Dust Loop has nowhere to go on Fridays, you can turn the fuck... I will turn the my comic book room into the Dust Loop room. And then you can have the Marvel kitchen, and you can have the asshole room of Street Fighter, dude. This will be the coolest... It'll be a fucking Dr. Seuss book, dude. It'll be a Dr. Seuss book, dude. It'll be the real San Diego Zoo. Right, Richard? Anyway, but, um, but, um, 
What else? Is, damn it. But no, despite all the stories you might hear about me, <laughs> they're all true. They're all true. They're all true. Okay, I get. Yes, thank you. They're all. They're, but for some reason, there are people in here still at my house playing Street Fighter. At seven in the morning. At seven in the morning, and some people have work. Sadly. In two hours. Just, <laughs> just, just Vincent. Yeah. Wow. I'm already two hours late for work. Jason, is that salary, Jason, dude? But no, but. The, okay, so I guess in the end is will be like, dude, TTF will be open again. Um, I'm I'm getting I have two PS3s. The goal is to get four. Do I have fours? Two PS4s. Two PS4s. I have two PS4s. Um, everyone's laughing at the line jokes. <laughs> I have two PS4s. Um, the goal is four. One more is on the way, by the way. And one more is on the way. The, the the goal is four PS4s, two Xboxes and a PS2, I guess. And okay, so. This will be it. It will be the setups will always be the Marvel kitchen and then the Street Fighter um, living room. It's gonna be two ultras for PS4, and whoever brings them. This is what I will TTF will personally provide. Will be two PS4s with Ultra, a PS4 with MK, cause that's what we didn't get to talk about. But I guarantee you, I'm off for a month. Sometime this week, me and Vince will have a podcast like off like. Recap the other games that finally. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be sick. So, so two PS4s for Ultra, one PS4 for Tekken 7, and one PS4 for um, MK. Two 360s for um, Marvel, and one PS3 um, for Guilty Gear. And then everything else will be, you just bring it. But, the, but this is what I'm personally providing. And I will, I'm going to try to provide four P, uh, sticks, seriously. That's six, but yeah. But then, but. Just to touch on this uh, random guy that I've never seen before in the chat who's asking why Wednesday Night Fights is the way it is and why Super Arcade isn't doing anything is because they're still in the process of uh, negotiating the venue and finalizing everything and that's why there's nothing for Super Arcade yet. But it's in the process. They got, they're they just doing leasing stuff. So I hope I'm you're still in here. And looking for uh, all kinds of weird shit. They're in, the, they're in the process of finalizing the new venue. That's why Super Arcade hasn't done anything yet. But it's on the way. And I hope you're still in here. But... That's a, there's a reason why when I make the event pages, I put it on public because it's for everyone. And I'm glad, dude, all Temecula was here. I'm glad they loved it. Unless they're like, I didn't pull a gun into their head. Like, just say, look good in the camera, blah, blah. If you think, if you think I'm an asshole, no. I'll just, the whole night, I was just sitting here doing this fucking bracket. That was all I was doing. But then again, I'm going to write more details in this. I'm going to, like, I'm going to, I'm going to try to keep everything up to date. But yes. You're gonna have a place to play at, but the thing is, it's you, dude. You're, you're either gonna take all the true bad news about me and not come here and not support the scene, or you're gonna be like all the badass Street Fighter players I heard today. We had a fucking, what was the number? 18, 19? We had an 18 man round robin, six from Temecula, four from TJ, and I'm gonna say right now, if you wanna play Street Fighter, it's here. TTF. And if you wanna play Marvel, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make everything here. On Fridays, I'm trying to give you a place to play. I'm serious. This is for everyone. This is for everyone. Everyone, everyone. I'm just trying to give San Diego a place to play, like I've been doing for, I don't know how long, since Vanilla, before Vanilla, yep. Tekken Five. That my house has been open to people. When my mom was still living here, I like she was like, "Are you having it? Okay, I'll I'll, I'll go to my um, boyfriend's house." Dude, you know what I mean? Like they sacrifice a lot. You know what I mean? And then I've been doing it because. I love it. And I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to talk about the glory days where, yeah, 64 man turning me into my backyard, like five car fool from LA. I'm not going to be that guy that's like at the bar, 45 years old, wearing his Letterman jacket. You know what I mean? Like telling about the, the football. Yeah, I'm not going to be that guy. But I'm just going to be that guy that tells you that you're always going to have a place to play. And for um, and I thank the people that buried with me that, you know, there are, I, I do get a lot of messages like, I miss Friday. I'm not going to get it. I do, bear, like, and I'm sorry. And I do get the people that are, they, they thank God that it's the last Friday of each month. Yep. Guys, please bear with me. And I'm going to tell you this right now is that I got a promotion at work and it, like, it motivated me. And then the two, it motivated me as in like the two things. I told K-Sexy this earlier too, like when it was just me and him. I said, like, I'm motivated. Like, I want the two things I want to focus, like, I'm done. I'm done, like, of, like shopping for myself at the moment. Like the two, I haven't bought comics in so long, and I miss it. Like, if you've seen my pull list, my pull list was pretty bad, dude. As in, I like a lot of shady comics. There's not a comic that I hate, and I spent a, like literally every like once a week I would spend over 80 bucks on comics. But then I haven't bought comics in so long, and the only thing I'm buying is like literally Batman. But 
I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling. But anyway, I the promotion and I just feel. the yeah, the promotion and then the realization is that I am 100% dedicating my time to my job now and to TTF. So like enough of the bullshit. Like enough for this thing. These cameras. It's gonna be sick, dude. It's gonna be sick. No, we're gonna talk. Of, yeah, the next podcast we'll go into this, but believe me when I say, where's it? Guaranteed. I'm pointing at the camera. <laughs> I want to thank Gerald for all the support, you know. <laughs> so that, that, that's my closing, though, man. That's my closing. That's the closing. That's the closing. Thank you. Thank you for the one. The football, yes. And you know what I miss, by the way? I miss playing football in the old. In, can we all agree to that? Do you miss playing, throwing the football in the old parking lot at the salt mines? Absolutely. Remember when, like, Will, like, took off his jacket and then Sean took the sweater off? And then it, it was so bad. And Nia got it. It was. But I missed that. It was good, dude. And then Johnny stepped on Justin's drinking. Then Johnny um, punted Justin's uh, ocean breeze, dude. <laughs> Shout out to Justin for the two times going out to the salt mines. It was like the greatest time of my oh, life. Man. He stayed for the whole 5v5 regional, dude. And then Omar was down to be on a team, dude. <laughs> good for you, Justin. And then he fell asleep in the swim room, dude. But, um, okay, before we, um, any last words before we do our, our, um, our standard closing? Yeah, our standard closing. Um, listen, man. We're getting there. We're very close at this point. If you're listening to this and you're new to the scene and you're thinking about not going out because you're worried or you're like, oh, these guys are too good, like, just, just, or, or these guys are too badass. No one's going to think that, though. Like, just come out. Just go and play. We're just come here. The same where's, the, where's the bunch of fucking assholes that just like to play games and shit? Just keyword fucking assholes. keyword assholes. It's all over the SD fight scene. We are the worst people in the world. So just come out and play with us, and that's all I have to say. And go fuck yourselves. Any closing statements before we like uh, wrap it up the usual way? What's the usual way? God damn it. Um. Okay. Well. Just thanks for having me. Uh. Uh. Thank. Thank. Thank you to the San Diego fight scene. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna say all the thank yous. I'll, I'll do this. No. Seriously. Okay. Thank. Thank you for having me on this. This is really really cool. Thank you to San Diego Fight Scene. You guys did the Fighting Game Club. Thank you guys for all being, you know, assholes and nice at the same time. Um, you guys, I mean, it's not like I really personally know a lot of you guys, but you guys are probably like real family to me. That's why I really come here every week and just just to play games. Like even a lot of the Street Fighter guys, I'm able to just talk to you guys and say what's up and. <laughs> Technically, you know, I, I don't I shouldn't talk to you guys because that's not my game. If you if you're willing to go on that boundary, you know what I mean. But like, I don't know. You guys, like I said, just thanks for always being there, and and I hope to do San Diego proud next time we get a representation somewhere. I won't choke, guys. I promise. Thank you. Okay. So before we close out, this is what I want to say. I want to thank you for being on here, and I can tell about how you talk, like about the game. It's like how much you really are like dedicated to this game. Like, I don't like. It's like it's like literally hearing Richard talk about Street Fighter. It's like or anyone in the scene that plays Street Fighter talk about Street Fighter, because like there's a reason why these motherfuckers are here this late. Because Vincent's on the show and yeah. they're the tra- <laughs> no, but in the end it's like that. You know what I mean? There's a reason why I've been playing this game since I like oh five. You know what I mean? Or like if 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 I, if I if I was tired of this game, there would be no TTF. I would say fuck this. Like I would do a real. You know what I mean? There would be yeah, but there, but there would be no reason for me to let all these people fuck up my. You know what I mean? Like, but I do it because I like I love it. Like that's why I, like I I finally realized that I want to dedicate everything to my job and to TTF. Like I'll like sacrifice anything for it. I mean obviously you like family. You know what I mean? But no, that's that's, that's the thing is like in the end like this is like this is all for you guys. And then like I I, I do understand that they're. People all have their different points of views on, on other people, blah, blah, blah. But, no, like, listening to you talk is, like, I understand. Like, and then, like, how you said about, like, family, like, dude, it doesn't matter that, like, Street Fighter. My main game is not even Street Fighter. The game I started off with was Tekken, dude. Like, and then, and then that's, like, a thing where, like, I had to deal with, like, I, I, I kind of left that game hang, hang dry because, hanging, because, like, it was just the scene was so bad. Tekken is one of the scenes that they're all talk. And I think... I think they're the, and they don't like coming out, but God bless Blake. Yeah, Blake's oh, sick. God, Shout out to Blake. God bless Blake, cause Blake, Blake, so Blake, 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 Blake was the Blake was the Tekken scene. Justin, the joke is it's not even a joke. Legati always said that Jared, Justin is the Tekken scene. 
when Justin was playing tag, like he was the reason why people came out. It was like the the, the post was, hey, you know what? Remember when I was playing Tekken, and and then that's what, and then Blake came out, and we met all these people, dude. And then sat Ogre left. That hurt the scene a lot. Ogre left, dude. None of the, if you think about it, none of the Tekken ran bats from TTF or the ones Ogre finished because they all, we all, they just died. And, and, ogre and Ogre left. Ogre left, dude. And then hopefully when Tekken Seven comes out, I'm I'm gonna be 100% for Tekken Seven. And then um, it just sucks because that was my first game, and then I I knew a lot of the SoCal Tekken players, dude. Like I was there. Every week I was in LA for Tekken, and then when when Tekken died for me, no, even when Street Fighter 4 came out, it was a plus, cause I'd be there for two. I'd be out there for Vanilla and Tekken. Uh, one of the actually on the, on the same when you guys when I was doing soccer out here at Penn Field, one of the girls that I was uh, coaching, or there there were two two girls, their mom used to play Tekken. Like really big. She said she was with the SD Tekken scene and stuff like that. I don't. I. I. I, just know, I don't know her name to be honest. Really know that was it, it's over his wife or ex-wife, and she was. She was one of the best players in Tekken Four, dude. But then they only had one kid, and she's too young. So I don't know. Was she black? No. Was she a black lady? I'm trying to think. Like. Nice. <laughs> you know what? But then the thing is, you gotta remember that I started with Tekken Five, and Tekken Four. It was so. I was still in high school, and and then. Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe the only you know the only black girl I know that played Tekken was Zhao Fury, and she's from Texas I think. But then I don't know, but I don't know. But hey, you never know. But but you know San Diego is San Diego back in the it, San Diego Tekken Four had the best players like like it's crazy how like all the OG Tekkens and the Marvel vs Capcom Two and like two, like people forget that San Diego had players dude. like Jesus Christ man, and now like. This is why I like what I wanted to tell in the interview is like I want to we, like I want everyone to be the next Tong. I want everyone to be the next Tong. Yeah, the, the next yeah, shit, you know. But you know what I'm talking about the the next legend. You know what I mean? Like, but then it's like like you said, you have, you have to, and then the rambling as you're talking about family is like yes. Like every time, like I treat everyone in the scene, just like there, there's like literally no one I hate. And if you think I hate you, you need to be an adult and talk to me about it. If you want me to leave you alone, I'll leave you alone. But I, I, and I support everyone. I'm not going to say that individual that I was the loudest person cheering for him against K Brad. And I, you know what I mean? But anyway, back to that. I like, and if I tell you, yeah, Gerald, I love Gerald. I love Gerald. Yup. Gerald, I'm talking about Gerald, by the way, guys. It's the number one supporter of TTF, Gerald. He want to be here, guys. Just want to run. Uh, we're going to run back with me and Legati versus you and Ox, man, any day, dude. But Vanilla. What? Anyway. But anytime I say I'm proud of someone, I mean it. I mean it. So, I'm so, <laughs> this is so bad right now. But Richard, I'm going to say this. I am always proud of Richard. He's the reason why I want to play Street Fighter. No, he's not the reason why I play Street Fighter. I'm just proud of, no, because I'm proud of Richard. That's all I got to say. He, he started from the bottom. Now he's here. You know what I mean? But, in his, but Vanilla, he's still down there, though. Rare. This is so bad. So we're just gonna we're gonna do the call out. The call out is pretty much. Is you you get to any per person, place, thing, anything. You call out and say why you hate them so much. We can do hot or not too. We'll do hot or not and the call out. So I'll go first. So I haven't. You know what? I haven't. Okay, girl, Ricky Ortiz. Is is that like a girl now? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hot. Do you ever hot? Or, yeah. Guy, hot guy. Who did I say? No, your last time. Shut up. You know Alexis's hair was on point today, dude. Yeah. The Manny hair. The Manny hair, dude. No. And then the call out, dude. Who am I calling, dude? Yeah. Yeah. FGC. Yeah. Any or anybody or FGC. Well, we try to keep it in FGC, but sometimes you know we go the porn stars or it it gets out of control. Who's yeah? Who's on your mind right now? But um. Call out, dude. I had a call out at work when I was doing. Parent board. <laughs> what is my call out, dude? Well, Shout out to Dan Tabeo. What's up, man? <laughs> this. Like, everyone's waking up dude, for the two hours sleeping shit, dude. I had a call out. Something about. My call out was like something at work. Because something really bothered me that parents were doing. Was it that time you had to stay late? No, I no, that that was just, that was just no, shitty. that was just okay. shitty. Um, 
I like gotta think about this. I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep it simple. Call, um, I'm calling out all the fucking parents that think their kids are angels. I'm just trying to tell you know what your kid told another kid that she's a fucking bitch. You know what? It's fucked up. Hey, kids are kids, man. They're gonna cuss. They're gonna be dicks and stuff. Just accept that your kid said that and accept that he got in trouble. Don't be like, well, that's not my kid. I'm like he doesn't say that shit around me. Blah 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 blah. Boo boo do boo. I'm like, I'm like dude, come on, man. Like. Yeah, man, like, come on, dude, like, just accept that, hey, kids are kids, you know, they're, they're not angels, dude. I, I watched him play basketball, he got swatted and got mad and said, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, it just came out. Like, who, okay, like, you know, it's a slap on the wrist, dude, just don't say it again, you know what I mean? But just accept it. Don't, like, well, I want to talk to the parent of the kid that my son said that about, you know, I can go into it, but no, I'm not, that's what I'm calling out, just... I feel like working like seven years at that job, like when I have a kid, if I ever do, like I, I'm ready. I'm like, I know it's like, you know what? Kids are kids. My kids, I, I already know I'm knowing my kid. He's probably gonna be a dick, dude. Like, all right, whatever. But I'm gonna know, like, dude, my kid, if he gets in trouble, hey, man, you birds, cut that. Blah, blah, who cares? I'm not gonna do it. I'm all like hot and bothered right now. Mike works with kids. I'm pretty sure he's seen it once in a while, right? You see it, right? Like, you, right? yeah, see, anyway. Yeah, well, anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna pass it off to the say before I. Freak out and get fired, but yeah. All right. The one yeah. parent watching the. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion, man. All right. Anyways. All right. So for my hot or not, you put them. You put them in the categories that you want to put them in. All right. I don't know if they're guys, girls, whatever they are. My. Uh, oh, I fucked up so bad. Okay. My two is Gagoony and Kara Face. <laughs> put them in whatever category you want, hot oh, or dude. not. We can all agree they're all hot as shit, right? They're just thumbs up everywhere. There's people coming in off the street that are giving me a thumbs up, so that's good. <laughs> Some homeless guy, dude. It's me, spoiler alert. Um, I'm, you know what? Instead of a instead of a call out this time, because today was pretty nice, uh, I'm going to do a reverse call out on Money Pit for actually giving me enough ketchup to finish my shit and enough barbecue sauce for the chicken strips. And I got to the drink, I'm like, man, this is gonna be the shittiest drink ever. It's gonna be ice and just fucking no drink. And it was like 90% drink, 10% ice. I was like, fuck yeah, man. These guys are legit. And you finally accepted that Maroon 5 Sugar is a great song. Yeah. That never happened. You know what? No, fuck that. All right. All right, Maroon 5. You gotta fight last. You know what? No, I'll save it for the next one. You gotta fight Maroon 5. And guess what's coming back, man? Fucking Cruising Grand next month. So, so guess what? So guess what's happening next month, man? Fuck these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I don't even know who to call out. Or 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 hotter not. I don't even know. Okay, my hotter. It could be anybody. But yeah, it could be anybody, man. I don't give a shit. My 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 hot will be. Natalie Portman. Okay, all right. Padme? Yeah, yeah with Padme. 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 Pat, no, Padme. <laughs> Star Padme. Star Wars. With the kabuki makeup or what? On the weird shit? <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> no, just regular Padme. Just straight, just, just Natalie Portman. But back when she's Star Wars, because then she got like like weird, and then I, I don't want her in fucking, uh, what was that movie where she got eaten out and shit? Yeah. Yeah, great movie. Not that, yeah. Not that one. But I mean, like, like if I, if I was to get down with Padme, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. I'd be in that shit. I think you'd kill her because you, know, <laughs> you turned her against me. We ain't gonna watch Clone Attack of the Oh, damn. We haven't watched episode three in so long, dude. I can't wait till this comes back every week. So we're not gonna Oh, my God. Okay. And if you're, you know, finding your sexuality, like, you got a dude in mind, you know? Anakin, right? Um. No. Okay. Uh, who's who's a good looking dude? Let me let me let me think about this. Who's a good looking dude? Who always looks sharp? I was trying to think who's, who always comes in sharp every day. Not Richard. Not Richard. Yeah, definitely not Richard. <laughs> can we just agree on that though? Can that be the... Hey! <laughs> Is that the not? Can I just do the not then? Who's not hot? Can I just say Richard? <laughs> <laughs> the not, yeah. 
<laughs> we'll give you a not hot. Yeah, I'll give you a not. Yeah. Not hot? Yeah, that's a not for sure. Change your hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then um, a call out? Um, the southern guy. <laughs> no, um... Well, I guess my call. I guess this is this is a long time coming. I never. I, I I talked about it once on stream, but I don't think it was ever very well known. Um, I'm gonna call out Genesis. <laughs> so for those, so for those that don't know, this guy accused me of taking two games on him at a final round qualifier because I used the Cronus and it froze up during the match. Even though it paused button, it was his pause and I had DJ Masters and Chunks Chunksta as my witness. Yeah Chunksta like showing and then him trying to immediately take the game thinking that I paused and I'm like, nah, it's you dog. And then try to save himself saying like, oh no, we shouldn't no, don't take the game. And I took the game and he was salty and I beat him 3-1. So, okay. fuck that shit for trying to spread lies because you tried to say shit to me when I was on stream against Killer Kai at West Coast Warzone. Are you about, uh, Genesis, like, so, like, fuck that. Um, I'm still mad. Well, I guess I'm not mad. I don't give a fuck because I still beat you. You're the one who's really mad. I just, I just don't like you saying shit about me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, at least, like that's not that's not how it went. Then you know, okay. I'm sorry. If it's a rule, why not? Why are you mad that someone just pulled the rule book on you? I'm not gonna say the funniest thing I've ever seen is Chad paused the game and Tong took the game and won it, dude. Chad was so mad, but you know, and he was talking about it. But in my head, I was like, dude, Tong came from the days where you pause it, fuck it, dude. Like, yeah, it's over. It's actually a rule, dude. Yeah, like. That happened. That happened to me at Evo, man. This guy pauses the first time. I was like, whatever. No, it's like no big deal. And then he did that shit again, and like, did, yeah, yeah. The TO was like, it's fucking done. He unplugged the other guy's stick and shit. I was like, Jesus Christ, man. This is fucking crazy, dude. Like, yeah. Shouts to me making it out of that pool, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm the best. No, yeah. Just, just. Uh, I mean, that, that's really it. Just. You know, send the story straight, like, I didn't fucking pause it. I know I didn't fucking pause it. And you were trying to fucking save your ass, and it was just fucking bullshit. And I hated that shit. And you are talking shit. So, fuck that. That's my call out. All right. I'll, here's my real call out. Oh, you figured I was out. just thinking about it. And I forgot it. Oh, no. Yes. No. Okay. I'm calling out all the people. Excuses. What are you saying? Except that you lost. Except you know why you lost. No excuse city, as Eris would say. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. Blah, blah, blah. You, you know you're at a fighting game tournament. You know. You know. It is your. It is 100% your fault. And if shit like the Corona thing happens and you know the rule, you, it is your responsibility. No, that's not, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to say if you played against someone. Yeah. Yeah. Just, if you know the rules, and hey, don't be afraid, man. Don't be that guy. Hey, you know what? He broke the rules, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It's The rules are, they're there. They're there for a reason. They're there for a reason. Yeah. And then, and then I'm tired of, oh, I'm just not feeling it. I'm tired. It's late. You know what? Let's make today an example. You decided to come to an 18-man Ran Robin that started at 10 p.m. Yep. With five setups. You should know that you're, gonna, you're here in the long run. Any tournament, you should know you're there in the long run. Excuse, if you're, you know what I mean? Combusted. He said he wasn't feeling it. I respect that, whatever. And he dropped out. There. He's, he's not going to just sit there every fucking game and complain. He just, you know what? Drop me out, man. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to deal with this shit. You know, there. Okay, I respect that. Just, I hate excuses. Like, I just, in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. I, I, dude, I used to, oh, whatever, man. My stick's broken. Whatever, blah, blah. But now it's just I, I learned to accept it. I know why I lost, and I'm, I'll try to fix it. So that, that that's my real call. It's just I'm tired of hearing I'm not feeling it. It's late. I'm tired. I'm sick. Fuck. Uh, whatever. You know. You're at a tournament. You know what you signed up for. Just play the fucking game. Like kind of a side note. Like that's the one thing that's like I always felt like was great about like fighting games is that like most of the time it's 
it's a hundred percent on you. Like yeah. you're you're making the decisions for the character. Like the <clears throat> the character can have all the best moves in the game. You know, it's top two character, but you you suck. You gotta you gotta play that character. You still gotta be good with it. You pick the low tier character. Like you decided to pick Dan. You decided you picked the low tier Marvel team. You just you decided you picked that team. So you know what you sign up for. So you know when you lose, it's not an excuse to like oh you're you know what I mean. It's like oh fuck man like yeah dive kicks. I can't do anything. Hey, there's a reason. I don't know many characters. Like every game I play, I always had one character. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Unless unless that character is not in the game, and then I am forced to use another character. Yeah. Tekken is the only game like that. Or Tekken is a game where I had to learn another character because of tag basically. So, but no like. Like I only like I have only used Rufus and then I learned every matchup and I will deal with every matchup. I will never I will never use another character for a counter page. And then when Street Fighter Five comes out, sadly he might not be in a game and yes I will have to find a new character. I will be in a character crisis and then I've been through too many of those and then I'm just hoping there is a character just like Rufus in that game because if there's no Dakit character then I'm gonna have to work a lot. I mean a lot because my normal game sucks. Dude. But yes, excuses. You know what you signed up for. Yeah. I am so strongly about that. Do not complain about a low tier character, a low tier team. You know what you signed up for, and you know that there are better. If you know that Team NorCal is the best team, and you pick Rocket Raccoon, uh, <laughs> fucking two Shenkos, you know, a Galactic, you know, you know what you signed up for. And I respect that those decisions, but you know what you signed up for. So. It's also just just kind of going more just just the the idea of like like actual competition. Like you're you're putting your your best up against somebody else's best, and it, and if you lose, you know, luckily we have streams stuff and you can break down why you lost and stuff like that. But like, you know, you you're gonna put your best against this person's best, and and when you lose, you know, it, it's your fault. It's not the game's fault. Don't make excuses. It's the game's fault. It's not unless unless truly like truly some shit some shit went out. I mean, you know the. That will happen. I'm not gonna. I'm not ever gonna knock that. But a lot of the time, most people just no. It's my stick. It's this and that. You know, but it's your fault. You should figure yeah, it out like that. And yeah, sometimes, you know, but then like, sometimes there are other times where there are things that you can't. You know what I mean? But yeah, in the yeah, but, yeah. but but in the end, it's it's on, it's, it's, it's a one on one situation. And that's what makes it so. Good. And with that said, I really this was one of my favorite podcasts, man. My top three podcasts would have to be. J Flo, Rico, and Colin. Uh, dude, they're actually uh, my worst one would probably have to be Richard. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> we're gonna close it off. I want to thank everyone, dude. This was literally in a twenty. We're here for like a day, right? A twenty? No, twelve hours, right? I shut up. I, I am a program assistant, okay? <laughs> no, any, no, anyway. I no, basically, <laughs> basically, the sun was up, it went down at a point, and now it's back up. It's you know what else is out? The guns. Sun's out, sun's out. The guns right there, Richard, there he is. Yeah, God damn it. All right, we're, I'm closing off. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the people building this shit. God damn it. That doesn't say anything. I'm closing off. I'm closing this shit. There are a lot of people in here. So shout out to Jenny, to Bale, yeah, this guy that's about cruising Grand. Johnny, Toki from Japan, um, you know, this guy named Love Lamp, so you know what, thank you, thank you, thank you Mike, thank you, thank you, thank you. everyone sleep, everyone looks wide awake, that's the worst part about it, thanks Mike for taking the power nap, <laughs> I think it is, dude.